Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, trying some new products that I have gotten recently that I've been wanting to try out and I thought might as well try them out first on camera. Um, some of the things are brand new that I haven't tried yet and some of them I have maybe dipped into once. But, you know, I can't help myself sometimes. But for the most part, this is all new products that are either new to me or that have just come out and stuff. So, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna just throw my hair up in a bun right now because I just don't feel like dealing with it. I am definitely like in a lazy mood today. I have to go to the market and I have to go buy, I have to buy like a new shampoo for my hair. Okay, so I just threw my hair up in like a really messy bun. What else is new? That's literally what I do all the time. But I'm just using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is what I'm most excited for to use on camera. I have used this once already, but I'm excited to use it on camera. This is the ColourPop Yes Please palette. It says cute AF on it, and I really love that, but this is the Yes Please palette. And this is what it looks like. It is literally everything I could ever hope and dream for in a palette. This is sold out right now, and I believe they were supposed to restock today, but they're not restocking it today after all. Um, they are going to wait till all the orders are pushed out and then restock it. So I don't know when it's going to be restocked. If I find out, I'll definitely let you guys know on Snapchat. Spoiler alert, it's really good. I used it once, and when I did use it, I was getting ready pretty fast. So, um, I just dropped everything on the floor. All right, well, now that I dropped everything on the floor, let's hope nothing broke. Um, I love this palette. I just love all the colors in it. I love that it's a dupe for the Natasha Denona palette because I am not paying $130 for that. So I'm just taking the matte creamy white shade in here, which I love that there is a matte creamy white shade to set my primer. Um, by the way, there are these are all new shades except for the matte creamy white and the like crease color which those two shadows that are already existing are that are in this palette are like one of my favorites it's full zip and note to self um full zip is like my perfect color to like set my primer with so i'm really happy that they put that in the palette because i use that shade all the time to self i'm pretty sure i put that in my ColourPop favorites it's one of my favorite colors from them now that i've set my primer i'm gonna take the yellow shade in here which is mischief um, this color is so pretty. I'm gonna use that as like my transition shade. A lot of people are saying that they don't like that it doesn't have a mirror in it, but the palette's like $16, so I don't really care. I never use the mirrors in palettes anyway, so I always use like a separate mirror like this one. This one's from Impressions. But anyways, I'm putting that in my crease as my transition shade. Because y'all know I love me some yellows and oranges. Basically everything that this palette has. You guys know I love ColourPop single shadows, so I'm just so happy they finally came out with a palette. The shadows in here are smaller than their normal shadows, but I don't really care, again, because it's only $16. I did buy this palette myself, by the way. Um, I didn't get it sent to me. I bought it literally like when it launched. Um, I went in the bathroom at work to go buy it. I got the highlighter palette from them, too, so I'm going to use that later. So that blends out really nicely. I haven't used this shade yet, so I wanted to use it right now. And it blends out really nicely. I got some new brushes from Sigma. They sent me some brushes, so they're a Mr. Bunny collection, so I'm going to use some of them right now. This is their E40. They're all synthetic um, brushes. I'm going to take note to self, this one right here. that in my crease. Brushes are so soft. Wow. I find this with like a lot of synthetic brushes that I just doesn't pick up the color like a goat hair brush does. I just feel like it doesn't pick up the amount of product that I want. That's the only thing. But they blend out really nicely. Like they blend things out great. But I'm just gonna take my regular brush because I just want more color payoff right now. Um, this is the Morphe M441, which is my favorite brush to use. If I could only use one brush for the rest of my life, it would be this one. Those, I swear, I don't know like what ColourPop does or what, but their shadows are so good. And for only being $5, and this palette only being $16, other brands are shook. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. I'm going to just go to Target after this, so. Uh, I'm taking this shade right here, which is GNO. Really warm brown shade. It reminds me a lot of Top Notch from ColourPop, like the regular single shadow, but a little bit more on the orangier side. Um, Gigi's barking for some reason. I don't know why. Whatever. 
Today is like my first like free day to myself where I didn't have to like wake up early and didn't have to work or anything besides like filming but better than like actually having to go to work or like go um, do the photo shoots that I normally do. Photo shoot tomorrow to do, not for myself but to do the makeup which is what I always do. Um, I work for a company and I'm their makeup artist so um, just not having to get up and go to work was very nice this morning. I actually got to sleep in for the first time in like three weeks, so it was nice. I'm gonna take a Morphe M433. I'm gonna take this like red shade right here. This one is spoiled. I'm not purposely trying to flip you guys off, sorry. <laughs> spoiled. Put that like on my outer corner. This is like really pigmented by the way. So, putting that on my outer corner and into my crease a little bit. Halfway, I think, like just like that. By the way, if you guys see my burn, it's so bad. I burned myself yesterday. Um, I was doing my client's hair for a photo shoot and I freaking burned myself so bad. Literally, probably if you guys get queasy with things, just put me on mute for the next three seconds, but I literally heard my skin sizzle. It was disgusting. But yeah, I burned myself pretty bad yesterday. And it was not fun. It kind of hurts a little bit. <laughs> didn't hurt that bad, but just like hearing my skin burn off wasn't the best noise I could ever hear. <laughs> this shadow, it's really creamy, but I feel like it's a little bit patchy. Like it blends really nicely, but going on immediately, like it looks kind of patchy, but it blends out fine. I go back in with GNO and just blend that red shadow out. It went a little bit more red than I wanted it to be, so just kind of blending that all together. I love that this palette is kind of small. Um, at first I was kind of like, wow, this palette's like hella small, but I really like that just because if I wanted to take it with me somewhere, because I definitely know I would use these shades more than anything else, I can because it's so small. And this cardboard feels pretty sturdy. Um, like I would feel fine with it traveling. I know I said in my Jaclyn Hill video that I didn't like packaging like this because I don't feel like it's sturdy, but I feel like this cardboard is sturdier than the one in the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I would feel safer traveling with this. Great. Uh, Alright, the mailman was here. So anyways, I'm going to finish up the eyes. I'm going to take this gold shade right here called Butter Cake. This color is so pretty. Take my glitter glue, what's what I always do for shimmering eyeshadows. This is the liquid sugar from Eye Candy Cosmetics. I always do this, um, especially because I have hooded lids. Shadow always transfers, so I like to do this to have a base so it sticks to it. If you guys have problems with like eyeshadows, like transferring into your crease and stuff, try this and i promise you it really helps so i'm gonna go back into that shadow it also makes it like really intense it doesn't have to be like that glitter glue in particular like i know the nyx glitter glue works pretty well with that too just any kind of like adhesive really helps and that is what helps me when i'm not doing like a cut crease or something because having hooded lids is really a struggle I'm just going to go back in with the brush that I used earlier for my crease to kind of just blend the edges out. That's pretty much all I'm going to do for the eyes. This palette is bomb. I'm going to try um, this right here. This is the Maybelline Curvitude Liner. I don't know if this is out yet already. Um, I got it when I went to the event. But it's just like a liquid liner and it's like curved to do wings and stuff easier. Um, you guys know I don't really do wing liner anymore. But I'm going to try it on the lid, like on my... Just to do like a really thin line. Okay, that's really black. Um, I've just been doing this to hide my lash band. This is really black. Wow. Um, and it's really fine too. Wow. Okay, that was really easy. The curve makes it really easy to go just along your lash line. I'm really impressed. It's really black. A really thin line just to hide my lash band for later on. 
but I really like this. It seems really nice. I'll see how it wears through the day. A new foundation that I haven't tried yet. I have waited specifically for this video to try it out finally. I have a foundation and concealer. So I have the new, not new, but it's new to me, okay? So this is the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation and then also their concealer. Um, I have the shade Bare and Angelic in the concealer. I'm going to try a new primer, but for the sake of trying a new foundation, I want to know how the foundation wears, um, so I don't want to use a new primer. So I'm using a primer that I know works for my skin just to really test out the foundation. This is the Smashbox uh, Hydrating Primer. This is my favorite primer right now. I love it so much. It does hydrate your skin. If you have drier skin, I definitely recommend it. And especially since I do have dry skin and this is a matte foundation, um, I wanted to use a hydrating primer. A pump. Let's see. Okay. Like two, like a pump and a half to start off with i'm using a damp beauty blender so it seems like it's actually a really good match i did get matched i got this at fame expo um they did give this to me but that on the open they did give this to me at fame um but she did match me and at first i thought it was kind of dark but it seems like it's a pretty good match almost like a perfect match it's going on really nicely i would say i believe that this is like a medium to full coverage foundation i am just gonna go with a medium coverage today I just added another pump on the back of my hand. I don't want anything too full coverage today anyway, so. But I would say it's more on like the medium full coverage. Blending out with a beauty blender really nicely. I use the beauty blender for most of my foundations. So that's what I wanted to use today. Taking the rest of whatever was on my hand to put on my forehead. I always do my forehead last. Um, because I don't like to have too much product up there. Just to really just make the rest of my face even. <laughs> wow, my skin looks amazing. Holy crap. Looks really good. Um, I definitely think that the hydrating primer underneath will be necessary for me. I use that primer all the time regardless anyway, but I would definitely need a hydrating primer under this because it does. I can definitely feel the matteness of it, um, but I do like matte foundations because I like to add my glow where I want it. So I do like matte foundations. Like my favorite foundation of all time is the L'Oreal Pro Matte. I do think this is like honestly a perfect match for my skin. It looks really good. Um, let me see up close. Up close it looks amazing. Really really good honestly. Um, I really like it so far. It's not even really clinging to any dry patches. I don't really have any right now anyway but I usually can see it around my nose and it doesn't look like it's really building up there and it looks pretty bomb you guys. Tried the concealer. This one is in the shade Angelic. Let's see let's blend that out. Again I'm using a damp beauty blender. As always I cannot blend out concealer with anything else. Definitely brightens the under eyes. It's definitely brighter than I would normally go. I don't like to have that bright of an under eye normally. It blends out pretty nicely so where it's not super super bright. I'm gonna put that whatever is left on my chin just to even out the highlightiness. And if you ever find that your under eye is pretty bright, I always just go over it with my whatever was left on my beauty blender from my foundation earlier and it just really tones it down. I like the concealer. It's definitely lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I'd say it's like about a medium coverage. I'm gonna put a little bit more right there just because I feel like I could still see a little bit of darkness there. So I do like it. I, I think I'm just so used to my Tarte Shape Tape being so full coverage that like when I don't have something that full coverage it's almost kind of like weird to me but it's fine. I have my under eyes with my normal NYX powder that I always use. This one's in the shade Banana. I need to get another one. As always, I'm always running out of this. I swear I go through this like every two months. <laughs> I use it all the time. It's like my favorite under eye setting powder. I don't know why more people don't talk about this NYX powder because it's bomb. I use it on my clients too. Face feels pretty set. I'm gonna set it with a powder anyway. It doesn't get as matte as the L'Oreal Pro Matte. Pro Matte I never have to set. But this one, it kind of feels a little tacky still, which doesn't bother me. Um, I'm just going to put some Wet n Wild powder 
over it. I just like to do that as security when I put other powders on my face so they blend better. So far, I love this foundation. It looks flawless, like flawless. Don't have a new bronzer. I do have a new contour. So this is the Kevin Aquan Contour Book. Um, volume 2. They just sent this to me. Cream contour, a cream highlight, and then a powder contour and a powder highlight, and then some shadows. I swatched the shadows and put them on Instagram and on my Snapchat, and they're really good. Like, they're extremely pigmented. Really, really pigmented. I'm going to use the shadows today, but I am going to use the contour, but, um, oh, I actually do have a new bronzer. It's not new to me. I've actually been using this constantly since I got it, but I'll just put it in the video since it is a newer product anyway. Yate repackaged their bronzer, so this is the new packaging for it. So the bronzer itself isn't new, but, um, the packaging is, but I love this bronzer. It's the Palm Island bronzer, and I'm just going to put that on my forehead. This is a new brush to me, too. I just got this. It's the Sigma soft angled contour. This is too big for me to contour with, but I'm going to use it for bronzer because I feel like this is the shape that I make my elf complexion brush anyway. I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan contour sculpting powder in here. It's pretty cool tone, so it's really powdery too, Like, but I think it was just so soft. A lot of kick up on it. I'm just starting off lightly. Since this is so cool toned, I just want to keep it in the hollows of my cheekbone. It blends out really nicely. It's pretty nice. I don't like it. But I would just be careful like where I apply it because it is a little bit more cool tone. And I don't want to look muddy. It definitely sculpts out your cheeks really nicely. So my camera died. So in that time where it was dead, I just contoured my nose with the same Kevin Aquan powder. I'm just going to do blush. I don't think I have any new blushes, unfortunately. I'm just going to use Milani Luminoso, as always. <laughs> it's like my favorite blush in the entire world. I've been using it since high school, and I swear I'm still like in love with it. This is the perfect blush, all right? Now, for the most exciting part, I'm going to be using the new ColourPop uh, Give Me More palette. This is their highlighting palette. I'm going to use one of the, like, deeper shades, like these, like the orangey pinky shades as blush, but swatched, when I swatched them, they were pretty, like, highlighty, so I thought they were going to be too much for blush. This is the first shade up here. It's pretty pearly. I just hit myself in the face. It's pretty pearly, if you guys can see, and then this one's really pinky. They're very intense, though. I'm going to put the pink one on, and then I might go over it with this, like, orangey one. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just try it. The Morphe M501, which is what I always highlight with, and put that on my cheekbones. This is definitely way too pink for this look. <laughs> um, it's nice. I don't, I think I have to like dig into it a little bit more. Okay, there we go. It's not as intense as I thought it was going to be because they swatch pretty intense. But I definitely think you can build it up. Be nice for just like the everyday consumer. I'm definitely not one of those everyday consumers, so I like to put a lot of highlighter on. So you can see like it definitely gives you a really nice glow at first. I'm gonna go over it with the the orange chain. Let's hope this doesn't go south. Oh actually, I actually really like that. Okay. It's actually really pretty. I actually did not think I was gonna like that orange shade. But it looks really nice on top of that. So, um, a lot of people were saying that this is a dupe for the Nicole Guerrero palette and on like the glow kit. I would say it's pretty similar. I actually might like this one more. <laughs> um, I just like the colors in here and I think they fit my skin tone better. And I could definitely see myself using this one more because I hardly ever use the Nicole Guerrero one. So I actually really like this. Did not think I was gonna like this orange shade up here, which is bottomless. You know, just for shits and giggles. Put some of this pink shade like on the apples of my cheek. Like right here, just as like a blush topper. Ooh, I am freaking glowing, you guys. I'm glowing. Okay, I really like it. Definitely not as intense as I normally would go for highlight, but I do like it. Like I, I'm not mad at it, you know? It's $18 and I don't think it's, that bad of a price. Take that middle shade, the pink one, which is Upgrade. I'm gonna put that down the center of my nose. Ooh, 
okay. I like a very strong nose highlight. If you don't, that's fine. But I do. <laughs> I just feel like when I do a really strong nose highlight, my nose just looks kind of cute. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take bottomless and put that on my inner corner. Let's see how that works. Bottomless is the orange. Okay, that's too orange for my inner corner. Okay, never mind. Cancelled. I'm going to take this shade, which is extra, in my inner corner. Oh, wow. Okay. I see you, Colourpop. I see you. That's a bomb inner corner highlight. That's my favorite kind of inner corner highlight. I'm also gonna put a, little, like a tiny amount of that on my brow bone, just a little bit. Cause I don't wanna go too crazy with that. I say that as I go a little crazy with it, okay. Go back in with the eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take, um, what is this one again? GNO. GNO on my lower lash line, Sigma pencil brush. Yeah, an E30. Blend that out with note to self, just to smoke it out a little bit. I'm gonna take Spoiled, the red shade, and put that right at the lash line. Just on the outer part of my eye, I'm not going any further than like my pupil. Gara, I have used this already. Um, and I wanted to mention it in here just because I have gotten a lot of questions about it since I had posted it on Snapchat, but this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Um, I do like it. It's okay. I have the shade Blackest Black, and I just feel like it's not that black. That's the only thing that I don't really like about it. Other than that, it's a, it's an okay mascara. I'm used to my Pure Fully Charged Mascara, which is my favorite mascara. Being super black, it gives me the volume and it gives me the length, so when I don't get that from a mascara, it like... It's just not that good to me. But this one I definitely think is a good drugstore mascara. I usually don't like drugstore mascaras, but I do think that this one is a good one. It gives me the length a little bit, but not so much volume. It's not that black for being black as black. Like my pure one is really black. So maybe I'm just like that one's just extra black. I don't know. But this one isn't as black as I would like it to be. This is definitely like one of those mascaras that I will wear when I'm not wearing any makeup. I just have like mascara on because it's not super black and doesn't look like really intense against my face with no makeup on. Times where I have a full face of makeup on but I don't want to wear lashes, I wouldn't reach for this mascara. Not like I wouldn't say my lashes look the best that they could possibly look. You know, lashes, I don't know what lashes I'm gonna wear yet. Um, I have some new ones, so let me go look at those really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so for lashes, I think I'm gonna use the ones from the makeup shack that I just got. These are, um, I Need You. Kind of look like, um, goddesses. That's why I want to use them. And I went ahead and just applied those lashes. Wow, I'm shook. They're really bomb. They look so pretty on. They do remind me a lot of the same kind of style as goddesses or House of Lashes Iconics. I also recently got a huge package from, who's this, dad? Huge package from NYX. It sent me, like, pretty much every single lip product they had. Um, so they did send me like literally all their lip products. So these are the lingeries. I've been meaning to use this one. This one is Seduction. I think this might go with my look. I use that just because I've never tried these before. So this is Seduction. Yes, this is exactly what kind of color I was going for. what that one looks like. I do like this color though. I definitely think it goes with like the eye look that I have right now. It feels really thin. I've heard mixed reviews on these. So. You know what's really weird is I would always see these at work when I worked at Ulta and I would swatch them and they felt kind of sticky like when I would touch them they would feel like tacky but it doesn't feel like they're on the lips so all this time I've been judging them without even trying them. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I really liked everything that I got. The ColourPop palette, I definitely think you guys should pick this up when it does restock. Uh, make sure to follow me on Snapchat. I will let you guys know if I know the date or like when they are going to restock. I do like the highlighting palette. Do I think it's like a must-have? No. But I think it's really good if you are, have been looking to get like a glow kit or like a highlighting palette but don't really want to spend too much money. 
Um, I think this is a really good option. My Quan contouring book was really nice. I think it gave me like a really nice contour. Highlight product to me for, that I tried today was definitely the foundation. I love it. It looks so good. The concealer is good. Um, it's not creasing, so that's really nice. But I think, I, like I said earlier, I think I'm just used to my Tarte Shape Tape to where I'm just expecting like that extreme full coverage that it's weird when I don't use it. The is bomb, you guys. I have dry skin and I don't really feel like an overly drying matte kind of formula. It's like a really nice natural matte finish and I love it. If you guys like these kind of videos where I try out a bunch of new products all at once, um, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely keep doing them. If you guys like this video, then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.